All right, now five massive barges are bringing in more than a million gallons of fresh water. Parts of Louisiana dealing with a drinking water crisis. A summer drought is causing salt water to make its way up to the Mississippi River, threatening the contamination of the drinking supply. Well, meteorologist and climate specialist Lisa Rafa joining us now to talk about this crisis. Elisa, so how is the river able to reverse its flow? Yeah, I mean, you've got salt water coming up from the Gulf of Mexico. This drought is really to blame for it, not just across Louisiana, but across the upper Midwest. Now, I want to show you this really cool image from NASA Earth that's showing you kind of from space, right, the satellite view of what this river has looked like. You're looking at a fuller view of the Mississippi River September two years ago, 2021. And then if we swipe, you can see what the drought conditions have done. Look how much skinnier that river is. There's not a lot of water left. It's at some record low levels. And you can even notice, too, some of the land as well going from leafy and green and then really just drying out. So just a remarkable difference in the last two years of how this Mississippi River has really dried up. And that's what the problem is. You have record low levels in the Mississippi, and that's what's sending some of that salt water from the Gulf of Mexico up in the other direction. Now, if we look at the drought map, you can see that we've got some of these drought conditions, again, not just across Louisiana, but across the upper Midwest as well. Some of the headlines from the drought report today were that the drought has expanded for the 11th straight week. It's worsened in the Midwest, the Central Plains, and the Southeast, with more than 33% of the U.S. covered in drought conditions. And it could persist in the Midwest as we go through the next month to Two, even three months. So again, the problem here is, of course, there are drought conditions in Louisiana, but the bigger deal is that drought conditions extend up the Mississippi River Basin. I put the rivers on here. That's the Mississippi River. The Ohio River, Arkansas River, Missouri River all kind of spill into the Mississippi and send that water supply down to Louisiana. So with all of those pretty severe drought conditions, it's really, as we showed you, drying up the Mississippi. And without there being water flow coming from the top down, that's left with some of that stream flow coming from the Gulf of Mexico up. The problem is the rivers are fresh water. The Gulf of Mexico is salty, so you have salt water getting into their drinking water, and they're trying to bring in fresh water to flush it out and dilute that salt. When you look at how much rain is needed in the next month to get rid of the drought conditions in the upper Midwest to send some of that water downstream, you need up to eight inches of rain in the next month to help alleviate some of that, and it doesn't look like that's going to happen at all. So New Orleans has really been in kind of crisis mode, mitigation mode, really trying to bring in that fresh water, build pipelines to kind of rework the way some of this water is kind of flowing to get that drinking water safe again. Here's the mayor of New Orleans in a press conference today. Always wanting to make sure that we get the best outcome possible because it's not a matter of if, it's when. And if we can do this, and we will do it, then this is a permanent, could be a permanent solution for us long term. Well, Elisa, you know, I felt like your graphic really showed us what the bottlenecks were mm -hmm. when you're able to look at the Mississippi River. But big picture, what's causing the problem to become worse? And I love that, that the mayor there was just talking about long term, right? Mm -hmm. Of course, the drought right now is, is severe and it's happening right now. But they have long term problems going forward. I mean, not only do we just have like a record hot summer for a lot of those states, the record low levels in the Mississippi because of that drought, but a lot of that land in Louisiana is sinking at really fast rates with marshes just getting eroded. We also have those sea levels that are rising. The Gulf of Mexico is taller now than it was years ago. So with that water getting taller, the land sinking, this is, again, could be a long-term problem. Also, coastal development, land management all need to be handled better to prevent something like this from happening again. And, and again, I know that they've been giving out water to residents. I have family that live in New Orleans, and they've been trying to get drinking water off the shelves because they're trying to mitigate with these pipes, bringing in the fresh water. Um, but again, it doesn't look like they're going to get the rain that they need up and down the Mississippi River Basin really anytime soon. So hoping that some of these mitigation efforts really do work for them. Yeah, Elisa Rafa, thank you so much. We are so lucky to have you as our climate specialist. So you can give us context on what we're seeing there. Tara. Mm -hmm.